this is the CFO. Okay. okay. I'm going to explain what is the roles and responsibilities of SKP FIC or consultant right now. So, okay, sir. Uh, this is very important concept generally. So you yeah, need to know uh, because as a uh, as a in as a manager of the company, so initially focus on the strategic level, operational level, implementation level, and as well as troubleshooting, training, documentation, compliance, and MIS reports. So these are the uh, and also you need to focus on financial people. And other profile profile not required. So this is the important factors. So okay, SAP FICO roles and responsibilities are two types. One is strategic and operational level. So in the strategic, you know very well in the SAP methodology, I explained what is the strategic uh, plan. So what okay. is the requirement? What is the functional modules requirement? What is the uh, business plan? How to identify the client requirement? How to fulfill the client requirement? And what is the business process? What type of business we need to gather? So this is all plan. Okay. So as a as a project manager, so this is the role about project manager. So the project manager initially need to know what is the process, what is the what is what is the business requirement, who is the client, how to gather the information from the client, how to give the training to the end uh, to the consultant to gather the information from the client. That is the important task. So that is completely strategical level. Okay. 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 And you can see this is a high level people will be sitting in the strategic level, not not like any um, you know consultants, uh, junior consultants. Like so, no person will be in the strategic person. Only the high level people, uh, project manager may or may not be involved, but project manager duty is he need to know initially what is the business requirements, objectives, and other things. Correct. Okay, and operational level. This is the very important. So mm -hmm. here you can see this is the requirement gathering and design. So what is the requirement gather and how to design? So here there are two types over here. So gather requirement is just like expected process. So whenever I am talking about the expected process, it is to be document and understand the current process. So it is as is document. Okay. okay. So you should okay. be perfect in preparation of. Aziz and to be document generally Aziz document is sent by the business process. I mean uh, uh, there is one team core team will be there. They will send the uh, Aziz document and sometimes you may involve in their process and uh, if you get an opportunity so it is better to uh, talk with them and uh, uh, you need to prepare the to be document according to the Aziz. Okay. And the and next one is the gap analysis. Whatever the things mentioned in as is uh, sometimes that is not possible to, to be mapped into SAP system, right? Yeah. So that time uh, gap should be exist. That, that time gap should be exist. So what are the gaps that we need to mm -hmm. analyze? So is there mm -hmm. any possibility to reduce the gap, or any mm -hmm. is there any uh, things uh, we need to ask uh, to um, to uh, what we call to reduce the gap and other things? So if sometimes and uh, very rare cases, uh, the client directly approach to the uh, SAP uh, to mapping the system. So that is not mm. possible at all. It may be or may not be. Okay. So business blueprint. So business blueprints. Very well. There are different types of business blueprints are prepared. So everything will be sign off. Okay. So initially, okay. The plan will be done after that. The blueprints. Blueprints means what? So SAP FI has one blueprint. SAP CO has one blueprint. In blueprint, everything is mentioned. What is the client uh, structure? What is the organization structure? What is the types of master data will be there in the SAP? What we have to configure? So everything will be in uh, business blueprints. So okay, whenever sir. I'm talking about the functional, functionally just like design. Mm -hmm. It's just like design. It is just mm -hmm. like functional is the department wise design. And we need to find out the specification for functional designs. Mm -hmm. What are the specification generally mentioned in the, uh, the particular department? Okay. And so you can see the implementation. Implementation is the very very important step. So every uh, SAP consultant will need to know what is the what is the integration, what is the implementation. So in implementation stage, so first we need to analyze, design, construct, test. So analyze is just like business plan. So it is preparation. And after the project preparation, and the business blueprint design is the business blueprint, and construction is the configuration, and testing is the complete. There are uh, different types of testing will be in SAP FICO. Okay. But 
yes so sir this is uh, this is implementation and you can see uh, in implementation it is just end to end so whatever things mentioned here is just like end to end not any simple uh, configuration you have done so not like so it is in end to end so you are involved in the first to last okay and in the implementation you can see so there are you need to be uh, whenever the project moving to the uh, display uh, in the final phase i mean uh, sub uh, what we call production production after that you need to give support to the end users correct so you need to resolve the issues okay mm. within the dead within the deadlines client and you have some uh, sla service level agreement every company and the client has sla based upon the priority and cvrt based upon the priority and cvrt you need to you need to close the tickets within the time intervals that is allocated by the management okay so for p1 there is a, a two hours will be there for for p2 so 6 hours for p3 18 hours for two days or three days whatever the, it is completely depends upon the organization size how big it is and okay, what sir. type of uh, uh, sla between them that is the important factor you need to know okay and you can see and you can see next troubleshooting troubleshooting is just like perform break or fix analysis and recommend solution for financial related process identify integration issues and develop solution to these issues and work with service desk it is completely how what what is your action initially so whenever the issue is coming to you what is your action from your end that is the important that is troubleshooting okay so for the troubleshooting so you need to know initially what are the issues are coming from the uh, end users so how to resolve what are the actions we need to take initially is this is the issue is relating to you or any uh, any other departments you know some okay. issues will be come from uh, uh, technical side so we need to consult the abap team correct okay we not be uh, we are not in all situation to do all the resolve the issues we are, we are not in a position to resolve the technical issues so mm -hmm. because we are con functional consultant not a techno functional so if you are techno function so fu functional consultant you might have some idea about abap correct but you are the only functional consultant so you might not have any idea about abap so you cannot be resolve the issue so if it is related to technical issue mm -hmm. and training so as a sap fico consultant you need to train the you need to prepare the manuals for end users and you need to prepare the training for end users that is end your users. time responsibility because you are done configuration you know very well what are the configurations you have done so that is the important thing right correct and everything should be documented so you need to whatever the things you are doing everything should be documented and you need to save the save in the shared drive that is important factor right so everyone will uh, uh, watch what what are the things you have done in uh, your time so hmm. everything should be and you need to follow the compliance mm -hmm. you should obey the compliance and okay. apply so ms reports is very important for every organization so as a project manager not your pro as a project manager so you are okay. report you, you have to prepare ms reports and you need to submit the higher management top level management so that you what you have done that is in the ms reports that is your performance correct sir in the documentation and compliance what is it is methodology as is as per as is as per as is okay as okay, is. okay 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 sir okay sir there is something you was missing in this place okay sir and you can see uh, financial and people management so you should be perfect in how to manage the people and what are the decision activities you need to take so these are all your decision making so you need to be you need to be perfect uh, to control the people okay. yes you need to allocate the work to them so how yes. efficiently they are working so how they will complete the project what time they will the complete the project so uh, when they will going to take charge so is they working properly or not so what are the tasks assigned to them they, they work or not so these are all your responsibilities okay so uh, this is a high level profile so uh, here uh, this is a strategic and operational parts will be there 
So I explained each and everything from scratch. You can see educational qualification for this post is MBA, CSW. Yeah. So this is uh, educational qualification experience. You can see eight to ten years. So mm. uh, this is high profile. Of course, uh, I recommend you. So here functional competency is they are asking. So functional competency means uh, you should be perfect in general ledgers, accounts, tables, cost and profit centers, fixed assets, taxing and internal orders. So you should be expertise in configuration of all these. This is completely SAP FI. Correct. And also you should be perfect in controlling area. So Basic here the yeah. behavior competency is able to uh, ability to apply technology solutions, business problems, and flexibility to adapt to rapidly changing conditions and priorities. So this is all your. Uh, so all is not required. See. Hmm. Uh, behavioral con competencies, so you are not a manager, so you, of course you are moving to team lead. So it would yeah. be better to know initially what generally SAP offers your consultant will do, but you should focus on what is the functional competencies mentioned over the disease is completely uh, core area uh, where uh, generally interviewers will ask questions from these uh, sites. And you can see uh, experience also mentioned 8 to 10 years, so this is the uh, highest level. So, um, you have, of course, you have six years experience in SAP offers your so This profile is uh, suitable to you, but uh, not mandated to follow all the things. And initially, you need to focus on as, uh, what is general things like, uh, uh, you know, uh, product preparation, business blueprint, uh, realization, and uh, final con uh, configurations. Uh, I mean, uh, um, final preparation and go live and support. So these are the enough things. That is enough. And you should not be focused on behavioral things. You are very good, uh, good, and uh, you can answer the uh, things very well. I hope so. Definitely, you will crack the exam. If they uh, crack, not exam, it is an interview. So you definitely Correct, crack sir. interview. So uh, I hope uh, I trust you. Uh, yes, sir. Definitely, you will get a job, and yes, focus sir. on the things uh, which you want. So that's enough for you, right? Correct, sir. Ido gatte next our document gora ida madre explain chesi, sir. Okay, record dot chases none of the. Uh, only lens, sir. I uh, e, 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 resume good. I explain chess, sir. Good, I bro. 